Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Patriots going up against the Buccaneers. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Simms for today's matchup. Buccaneers, Patriots on EA Sports. We welcome you to Santa Clara, California for today's game. It's Super Bowl 50, Phil, a milestone game in the history of the NFL. And do the players at this point have any feeling at all about the bigness of this one? Man, Jim, all they're thinking about is the job they've got to do. They've trained all their lives to be in this position. And you take all that practice and preparation and make sure you put it on display here in today's game and try to be a Super Bowl champion. Let's check in down the sidelines with Danielle Bellini. Thanks, guys. Super Bowl 50 is a very special milestone for the NFL. Super Bowl I was played back in 1967 at the L.A. Coliseum. As you recall, the Green Bay Packers beat the Kansas City Chiefs on that day. But I'm sure neither of those teams could have imagined the Super Bowl growing to be as big as it is today, guys. That being said, we've got two teams out here who desperately want to make history by winning the Super Bowl tonight to ensure they're the ones that are remembered and that everyone is talking about 50 years from now. Back to you guys. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Buccaneers are back deep waiting for the kick. And Steven Gostowski looks set now to kick it away. Super Bowl is underway. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Starting at quarterback, the future of the franchise, Jameis Winston, the rookie out of Florida State. First down at the 21. Got hit on release. As we look at the starters on offense, Doug Martin had a blockbuster rookie season in 2012. I know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would love to see their offense get back on track like it was in 2012 when Doug Martin was running, catching, and just showing everybody that he was probably going to be one of the best running backs in the NFL. Winston's back in shotgun formation. Austin Safarian Jenkins has the catch. The Buccaneers do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third short. Third and three. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, that's a nice job by the defender knocking that football down on third down. That's what you want to do as a defense, of course. You want to get off the field. Every time an offense completes a third down pass, their chances of getting a score on that drive go up big time. So getting off the field is great. Nice job by the defender. Phil, here at the Super Bowl, how much bigger has this game gotten since you were the MVP of Super Bowl 21? But, Jim, it's colossal. That's the only word I got for it. And what has happened, which I don't agree with, now it's all about just winning the Super Bowl. Everything you do during a regular season, we just wipe it away. It's how you play in this game. Do you win or lose? And that's how you're judged. Not fair, but that's the way it is. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. 
run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The Buccaneers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Snap back to Brady from the gun. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented. And every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. The Patriots take it from the 28. It's caught by Blunt. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The one who brings him to the ground. It'll be interesting to see after that fumble by the kick return team. Will we still have the same returner when they come back out of the field? I don't think so. That was a big mistake. I think they need a replacement. Patrick Chong makes the hit. Martin's a great buddy back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 21. Off the right side, Martin. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Buccaneers take it from the 38. Outside now on the toss. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. For this core defensive unit, he's played corner. He's played safety. A former first rounder out of Rutgers, Devin McCourty. Yeah, moving Devin McCourty to safety was a really a tremendous move because he's like a quarterback. So he gets back there at the safety position and he can just see everything and make the plays from that position. This is third down. Winston's got everybody split out wide from the shotgun. He's hit as he throws it. All set to punt here. He'll return this one. Moore's there to make the tackle. That return's good for about eight. The Patriots' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive, and they got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. He has been one of Tom Brady's most reliable performers for years, Julian Edelman. Hard to believe this guy was a college quarterback. Boy, has he adapted to the NFL and turned into just an outstanding wide receiver. Drop back, shotgun formation. Space to work. Third down on the way. The Patriots will line up. The first down markers right at the 31-yard line. Brady from the gun. Unbelievable grab. My gosh, the wide receivers in the now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. First down at the 43.
showcase the defensive starters. Take a look at Alteron Werner, one of the smartest players in the league, a graduate in four years out of UCLA. One of the reasons Lovey Smith wanted to get him down here in Tampa to play is because he knows how to play the Lovey Smith defense. They call it cover two, where the corner plays near the line of scrimmage a lot. Alteron Werner does that very well. The Patriots take it from the 43. Throws the pass. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. That's his first reception today. When you get aggressive safeties, you like to get up there and try to stop the run. The post route is an awesome way to take advantage of that. Go down the field, 10 to 12 yards, plant that outside foot, run towards the goal post. Nice throw by the quarterback. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Phil, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter. It sure was, and it was a tug of war, and it was boring. That's what it looked like. I, I, I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, but really the offense is just poor play selection, poor execution, and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. The line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line. Second and 11. Looking at every option. And methodically, he just throws it away. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Brady's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Third down and 11. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. One quarter in the books, and the defense continues to shine. Yeah, awesome first quarter for both defenses. I like what they're doing on that on their sides. They're taking some chances. Both coordinators had good game plans, and we can see they're working so far in this game. And he steps out of the field of play. The Buccaneers know there's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams want to play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. First down at the 20. The grab is made by Jackson. That's his first reception today. The Buccaneers have been awesome today on first down. That time it's a nice play design. They throw the football, picks up solid yards. Second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Martin's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The Buccaneers snap it at the 31. Off the right side, Martin. Martin's trying to be patient. But there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Winston's setting up now in the pistol. The Buccaneers take it from the 33. Doug Martin with the grab. As the first down, now looking for more. So many things are involved when you talk about people catching the pass. Catch it cleanly. Uh, also, catch it and break a tackle. Everybody loves that. Nice job that time. Midway second quarter. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. The Patriots with two extra defensive backs in the dive. And now they're going to go with the draw play. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Winston's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Evans goes out. The defense has the football. Defense forcing and recovering the fumble. 
You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. The Patriots stalled on their last drive, forced a punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Welcome back. Halftime just a couple of minutes away as we resume play out of the two-minute warning. Second and four. LeGarrett Blunt with the grab. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. False start, and that sets the offense back five yards. Yeah, you, it, listen, false start. It, it, false it can be the little offense. thing, a little flinch. It, it, it doesn't look like much, but everybody in the stadium can see it, and so can the official. First and 15. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. Nice catch that time by the receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. Well, even though it's late in the first half, I think this is a good job by the coach. Going to the hurry up offense. Going to see if they can make a few plays and get down there and get some points. That's his first reception today. It's all about decision-making now as they work out of the hurry-up offense. Yeah, it's really up to the quarterback. Make sure to watch the clock. Don't get a sack and don't get tackled in bounds. Make sure you give the message to all your teammates. I like this decision by the coach to go with the hurry-up offense here late in the first half. You can't be worried about making mistakes. Sometimes you got to be aggressive. made an appeal but the referees say it's on the defense first down here let's see how they back up the big play here Brady is in the shotgun Brady to Amendola right there that time for the tackle the Patriots are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here Play number six coming up on this drive. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The opening touchdown of the Super Bowl. We near the half. The lead now is theirs thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, you know, how. look at that. Just think about how much that changes the mentality of both teams. One now all psyched up and emotionally feeling great. And the defensive side, oh, my gosh, they are down and have to be disappointed about how they played on that drive. It's good. Brady's going to have a tough time upstaging what he did on that scoring drive, passing for over 80 yards against a defense that had no answers for him. Takes off from the five. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. 
the Buccaneers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football so you made that mistake let it go and go out there be aggressive and see if you can score some points thanks Jim and welcome to the EA Sports halftime report Let's take a look back at the first half. The Patriots offense has been on the field more, but it hasn't led to a big lead. The Buccaneers are competing hard, and it's still very much in doubt which side will walk away with the Lombardi Trophy. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now second and eight, the former Seminole, Jameis Winston, squeezing the pass in here. And he'll end up at the 45-yard line before being tackled. The defense would later recover a fumble and get off the field. Now to late in the first half. Brady's got the completion here, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the seven-yard line. Staying late in the second, Brady's going to find his mark. He caps off the seven-play drive, but they score. Patriots strike first in this one. And with that, it's time to head back to field level as we're just one half away from deciding a Super Bowl champion. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Buccaneers allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. Snap back to Brady from the gun. The defense gets the sack. Man, this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. The Patriots from the 22. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. You got to be smart on the defensive side now here, third and long. Be a little careful. Maybe give up a short pass or a short run. And if they throw it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. The Patriots from the 22. And the reception by Brandon LaFell. Nice job that time by the defense. Knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. The Buccaneers talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Second down and in a very precarious spot. Second down and six. They go screen with Martin. Got the first, and he's got some space. The Buccaneers just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Winston standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Safarian Jenkins got it, and a first. That's reception number two for him. What a nice job on the catch this time and breaking the tackle and getting those extra yards. When you make plays like that, if I was a quarterback, I'd give you a few more chances with the football. And Murphy makes the catch. That's the 40 making the stop. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Doug Martin. 
breaks the tackle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Winston's going to take it from the gun. Martin has the reception. He'll pick up seven this time. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Winston's completion percentage, 60% on the day. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First down at the 19. Vincent Jackson with the catch. Ends up picking up three yards. The Patriots defensive coordinator made the right call that time. In the red zone, he was expecting pass. That's what he got. And they get up there and make the tackle quickly after the pass completion. Winston's completed his last six passes. Second down and seven. Should have had it. Well, it's tough when you're a quarterback or a coach and you see a receiver drop a pass because we know it's hard to design plays that work. It's hard to get open in the NFL, but don't get down. Uh, you're not, the game is not perfect. Find a way to get the football back to that guy so he can make the catch and get going again. Doug Martin with the grab. Martin's tackled down after a gain of 10. The Buccaneers are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. It started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The Patriots lead, and all you have to do is look at the turnover ratio, and that tells the story, Phil. It sure does. And listen, everybody calls them turnovers. But let's look at this game here. I call it takeaways. They are taking the football away from the offense. What a job by the defense. Browns all over that offense and brings him down. Big situation right here. Touchdown ties the game. We're in the second half. What will the defense do? Will they be aggressive or will they not take a chance? Third and goal at the five. Incomplete as he was looking short. Good job that time by the defense. They stop him short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. The Patriots will come out in the dime. They'll go shotgun here. The Buccaneers turn the ball over on downs early in this final quarter, and it's the defense that's able to step up and seize control of this game. Nice job by the defense. I like what they did there that time on that fourth down play. And I gotta say this, Jim. What was the offense thinking? Two things. Why'd they go for it, and why did they choose the play that didn't work? Here we have second down. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. Brady from the gun. He's churning ahead. It's third down coming up. You have a lead in the fourth quarter. You got the football. You want to keep it. Not a very good play call there. So now it's up to your defense to try to stop and win the game. And the punt is kicked out of bounds. 
the Buccaneers taking the field again on offense. They paid the price for an aggressive decision on their last possession. Passing up on the field goal attempt and going for it on fourth down, then coming up short. Yeah, look, no second guessing for me on that. I'll just say this. I'll give the defense a lot of credit. They were there. They were ready for the situation. They made the play, and that's why the offense came away with no points. How do you think the offense is feeling right now after that coach's decision? Well, shoot, they're disappointed. The coach believed in them. You know that all the coach is showing faith? Well, he showed faith, and they, they let him down. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something. And he's taken down. Beautiful timing that time by the safety. That's what it's about when you talk about blitzing. Space the field properly so the safety has a lane to run into and timing the snap of the ball. They did everything right that time. Good job of the safety getting that sack. And Evans is there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Buccaneers did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Welcome back, friends. The offense has the ball, trying to pull out a victory here with just two minutes to go. Martin's the receiver on the screen. He's got some daylight. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. They're able to punch it across for the apparent tying touchdown here in the final two minutes. Yeah, it's nice to have an offensive line. It's tough and, and powerful. So when you get in these situations, you don't have to trick the defense. You just line up and run it over. The Buccaneers now just need the point after to tie it up here in the fourth. Driving extra point is good. It is as intense as it gets. The game is tied as we're moving toward the finish line. Could be headed to overtime. Ah, oh, it's been, boy, what a day. And if it goes into overtime, that means you just get a chance to see more good football. Both teams have played extremely well. I don't think either team will take a chance here at the end of the game. The Patriots come onto the field. The game now is in the hands of this offensive unit with the game tied, Phil. Jim, this is a situation now where you just don't come out here and just try to make it happen. The game is tied. If it doesn't work, you figure, well, let's try to get into overtime. So be careful on these first couple plays and make sure you don't make a big mistake. So right into the hurry-up offense they go into this two-minute situation. Yeah, these guys, all these pros, they've been doing this stuff since they were in high school running the two-minute offense, so I know they're ready for it. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post, but a good route that time by the receiver making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. The Patriots from the 32. Blunt. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. The Patriots signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. We are tied, and this game has less than a minute to go. The Patriots snap it up at the 26. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone, if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with the run. We'll find out. The Buccaneers' defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. Both secondaries have really stepped up today, Phil. Yeah, they have. It's so hard to be a defensive back in the NFL to cover some of the fastest runners in the world to do that. And also, we know they can't touch them either, so they're having an outstanding day.
the Patriots get set to snap the football. Only one timeout remaining here in the fourth. They bring in the extra tight end. Second down and seven. They hand it off to him again. Carter's there to take it down. The Buccaneers in a tie game will call a timeout. They clearly want the ball back with a chance to do something. Play number six coming up on this drive. At the line, they're in great position for the win. First and goal, another handoff. And that's David in on the stop. The Buccaneers will, of course, call the timeout now to stop the clock. Coming up to the line at the four. As they get set, it's just about winding the clock down right now. Second and goal from the four. Good for only a yard. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. And it's good. He puts it England Patriots have won the Super Bowl and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to Foxborough. Phil, you're one of the few people on the planet who knows what it feels like right now to win the Super Bowl. I, I can't describe that feeling. All I can tell you is that it is awesome. So enjoy the moment. Brotherhood will never be stronger than this moment. All the dreams coming out of youth. The emotion of it all, it's almost overwhelming. To realize a dream from the playgrounds, to all the practices, to one day have your hands on the Lombardi Trophy. And now that moment is realized. For the rest of your life, you'll be remembered as a Super Bowl champion. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long from the Super Bowl.